I saw something on Facebook that this uh, this mother had started. The campaign is called Let's Sit Together. And I I read up about it a little bit. I read up what people were saying um, in her po uh, in response to her post and it seemed I I felt a ray of hope. I thought there was some hope because if parents who observe and address can really make a change in our community. So I actually invited that lady who started that game campaign to talk to me and talk to us. So I'd like to I'd like to introduce uh, Deepa Pishupati. Deepa, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hi, Deepa. I really thank you so much. Uh, Saturday morning, you're giving me this time. I really thank you so much. Uh, well, thank I hope you for I'm having me. Thank no, you. No, no, no. Pleasure, pleasure. So, Deepa, like I said just now, you started this "Let's Sit Together" campaign. Is that what it's called, right? Let's sit together. Yeah, it's called "Let's Sit Together." Huh, so, what fascinated me was when I asked you in our conversation that did did you start it because your child went through something and you said no. Yeah, no. <laughs> Luckily, my chick kids have been blessed that, you know, we didn't go through any uh, bullying case or anything that exclusion or anything. But I'm doing this for all the kids, you know, the kids who are excluded, the kids who are left out, the kids who sit alone during lunch because they have no one to reach out to them. Uh, no one reaches out to them. No one speaks to them. So I'm, I'm doing this for all the kids who are left out and, you know, who need a friend. But then how how did this get started? What triggered it? Um, there was a lot of talk of bullying and uh, kids being left out in, in our town recently uh -huh. and on the local Facebook uh, boards. And uh, there was a shirt that came out in the mall in Lord & Taylor that said, you can sit with us. Uh -huh. So uh, and our local mom... Uh, stood up and she wrote to them and she made them take it down. So, so uh, that inspired uh, sorry, me to... Uh, sorry, sorry. Up. So the shirt said you cannot sit with us? Yeah, you can sit You with can't us. sit with us. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. So that was actually growing in popularity. Oh, my uh, God. So then I was thinking of, okay, so what do we do? Because a lot of more cases of bullying, more cases of kids being left out. So I said, okay, how about the kids wear a shirt that says, let's sit together. I mean, you can sit with us. Hmm. You can sit with us to school, you know, to counter, you can sit with us. Mm -hmm. But uh, due to trademark issues, uh, we couldn't use it. So then uh, this shirt came about, let's sit together. Okay. And uh, what do you hope to achieve by people sporting these shirts? The idea is for kids to wear this shirt once a week, any day, Wednesday or any random day in the week, uh, to show the kids who are left out and who are excluded that they are open to friendship with them. Mm -hmm. So uh, this way, it creates also an air of uh, inclusion and togetherness in the schools. Like all kids wearing, let's sit together. You know, let's play together. Mm -hmm. You know, you can sit with me during lunch. I will sit with you. I will play with you, you know, mm -hmm. uh, at, uh, during play playtime. So that sort of thing. I want to create an overall sense of... Inclusion. Uh, inclusion which mm. is sorely missing these days it is missing these days and it's uh, actually filtered all the way down to elementary school level there are, and there are a lot of kids like that still who are going through this and then they take they can't handle it the mental pressure of it and then they just take the ext extreme steps which you know uh, which we don't want the kids to think of even so yeah so uh, you know on one hand i'm i'm I want the the kids who are being bullied and who are on the receiving end of this nonsense to be supported and empowered. But on the other hand, sometimes it boils my blood and it enrages me that uh, we are a bit lenient when it comes to the bullies themselves. What are we doing about them? Uh, so uh, have you also thought about if, if, if that should be addressed or if, uh, is that being brought up to, with the school administrations? Um. I don't know, like, uh, bullies are also, were also once bullied, you know? Yeah. A bully, a bully is, creates another bully or, you know? That, so, once you're bullied, you become a bully. So, Inner that is the thing. So, yeah. we need to look at also uh, bullies in a different aspect and say, they are also kids who need help. Mm. They're, they're just asking for attention. So, that right. comes out in different forms when you're a kid. That is so, so true. That is so, so true. Uh, 
Yeah, there is lots can lots of things can be done from the school from from the school side and you know even from the parent side to talk more about inclusion to respect differences you know mm-hmm. to reach out to new people to make connections and not form super tight groups so that they don't you know let any kid in, enter or so a lot of things can be done to promote a feeling of inclusion right right but i think uh, uh, it might be a, a battle against the tide right now because uh, swimming against the tide because the, the you know the air right now in our country is so uh, you know polarized everybody the sentiments are so you know so misplaced right now it it saddens me um that you know it it, it i think somebody high up needs to be Um, you know administered and uh, taught that this is uh, you know uh, this country especially is about all inclusion of different people bringing the best they have to the table and and like you said bullies themselves are because they have gone through something that made them a bully and it's all attention seeking behavior and hopefully if they realize that yes i can get friends too without making a fool of myself like this or without hurting somebody they might be well be, be normal people then right well so it, it is you how long has this been going on your this campaign of let's sit together uh, it started end of october and uh, now i so we sold uh, 100 shirts in the first run and now we are doing the second run and uh, there is like a tremendous support and support for this campaign in my town there is just been tremendous the support has been tremendous uh, everybody is ready for it everybody they all they know it this i mean we are all we know what is going on in the schools we know what our kids are facing we know what our neighbors kid is facing we are all aware of it but we need to uh, just bring the focus and say okay what are, what can we do about it right mm-hmm. being aware is one thing and actually doing something is the second step which is where we are at at this point is that like let's do something about it let's do something to help this child feel better about going to school let's do something about finding friends for this child you know mm-hmm. this little little things that make uh, that make life immensely like better for a child right so for a child not having a friend and not having anyone to sit with mm-hmm. and is like a very big uh, like it's a not a happy thing for at all so it makes them not perform well in school it leads to hundreds of other issues mm-hmm. so just by being inclusive we can like solve a lot of issues that the kids are facing these days i think we are also uh, teaching respect and tolerance yes respect uh, and tolerance for everybody yes right and i remember you know my kids are much older now but um, you know we we happen to be from the same town so uh, so many years ago when my my first child was in elementary started elementary and i signed up for the multicultural committee uh-huh. um the pta president had called me back and said um, hey thank you so much for signing up but you know this is a new committee nobody we we've never had it before this is right. the first time we proposed it and no nobody else signed up except me mm-hmm. wow and and i signed up to chair it so okay, i wow. i don't know what i was thinking when i did that <laughs> so she asked me if i should uh, if i could do something about it come up with a plan or shelf the idea i told her let me think about it so i did come up with a plan we had our first multicultural in our town in my mm-hmm. elementary school oh wow and, that's, uh, no, that's incredible so that's where it started and now you know it has taken off like beautifully in our town so i'm very very happy about that but what i noticed and i i kept doing the multicultural i kept sharing it for the next 6 years to follow because i covered both my kids and i did all the way up to middle school and then high school they don't do it and the children didn't want me around either because they get embarrassed by parents presence i don't right. know why so you know uh, the bully child either has gone through something or sees that happening at home I know. No, it is. It is most likely like what the conversation is around the dinner table. You know, if you speak of tolerance, if you speak of, uh, if you speak of inclusion, then the kid will get the message. And the same thing is for the, you know, the opposite works too. So Ex- we have to be mindful of what message we are passing on to our kids. And you are passing a very positive message. Let's sit together. I mean, come on. All we need to, uh, to do is sit together, get to know each other, appreciate each other. and coexist happily peacefully and keep building this nation stronger and stronger 
you know exactly. uh, starting at that that root level of uh, a young child i think uh, so it's a great endeavor that you're doing deepa i really commend you for it uh, where do you see it going ahead with this i mean do you want want to keep it to your town or would you like to reach out to other towns as well well by this uh, by speaking to me right now you are reaching out to a lot of towns in new jersey so are you ready for that Yes I am. <laughs> I would love this message to you know go to all the schools, you know, because every school, every class has a child who's looking for a friend. Yes. or who is alone or who is bullied. Right. So who is left out? So I'm sure of it actually. <laughs> so I would love to reach all the kids whoever needs help, whoever is looking for acceptance and tolerance and inclusion, whoever is looking for a friend. I would love to reach all those kids. Right. Deepa, we may get get cut soon for commercial break, but uh, Uh, if you have time we can continue this conversation but thank you so much for your time right now I do appreciate it really. thank you so much for having me thank you so much